Um, do we assume that there are cases in Ireland at this point or that there will be cases in Ireland? There might be. I guess, none at the moment, I guess. But it's spreading. You know, It is transmitting between people. And the question is, would it spread into many different countries? We'll wait and see if it comes to Ireland. It's quite hard to catch, actually, to be honest. Very close contacts needed between, say, two, a person, someone who's infected and someone who isn't for a prolonged period of time. Not like COVID by any means, which is much more you know, contagious. It's not the first time, though, that we have seen... Uh, monkeypox come to Europe. It has been here before. What's new is it is the number of cases and how quickly this seems to be yeah. transmitting. Yeah, there were single-digit single cases. In the UK, for instance, there was, there was one or two cases in 2018. In the US in 2003, there were 70 cases reported, you see. So we've seen it around the world in the past. What's happening now is lots of countries are reporting it. Something's happening. The mystery is, how are people catching it, actually? The first case was May 7th. That was someone who, someone who came back from Nigeria, where it is endemic. They brought it back to the UK. But many cases, it's hard to track where it came from, and hence... People are slightly concerned because of that reason. Um, who is at risk um, of this virus? I mean, is it any more serious for children to catch it or pregnant women to catch it? No, anybody who would be in close contact with someone who's infected. Now, infected means you have these pus-filled sores, like we see images of these. Don't we? They, they have blister fluid, which is, which is full of virus, basically. If you're in close contact with someone with these blisters, that, that, then you're at risk of catching it, basically. Or it's sometimes quite nasty in, looking, isn't it? It's a nasty disease, yeah. You'll, you'll have it for two, three, four weeks. Your skin will be covered in these pox, pox, you know, these pox vesicles, we call them on your skin and so on. And then you'll feel pretty feverish and sick, you see. So it's pretty nasty. But most people get over it, you see. And it's seen as not that, not that dangerous. It is. The, the mortality rate for the, for the one that's there at the moment is less than 1%. It could be as low as 0.1%, you see. So it's not seen as a hugely serious disease for the moment. So what happens then if you contract it? Is it the type of thing that you just deal with at home? Do you need to quarantine? You, Is it, you know, back to contacting close contacts? Again? Yes, yeah, you isolate if you have the, the pock marks on you, because they're very infectious, stay home, basically, you know. And remember, not like COVID, you will spread it if you're symptomatic. Of course, COVID, there was asymptomatic spread, which made it very difficult to catch, you see. This one, it's only people with the, the symptoms that spread it, you see. So if anybody with symptoms should stay home. Now, interestingly, there's a vaccine. The smallpox vaccine works against It's in the same family as smallpox. And that, that vaccine is available, you see. And as an antiviral, a drug called T-pox will kill the virus. So again, unlike COVID, we have the weapons already, the, the, the vaccines and, and the antivirals to, to, to deploy against it. So who is it uh, affecting in the main then? It's mainly young men at the moment, it turns out, they reckon. And it looks like sexual contact is close contact. But anybody can catch it. It doesn't matter who you are. Any kind of close contact means you can probably catch it off someone else. The current cases are, are is, is in a men of sex with men, they call them, basically. You know, they seem to be a group who, who have caught it initially. But remember, anybody can catch it through close contact. And any understanding why that demographic is appears to be more impacted or more affected by this? No, that, that's been examined closely now. The track, trying to track it and try to figure out what's happened here. It could have been a few cases in, in that community, maybe, and it begins to spread there, a bit like HIV began. In that, and then anybody can get HIV, you see. So, so sexual contact is, what, is obviously close contact. That's one reason why it can spread. But it's not a sexually transmitted no, infection. No, it's not an STI no, at all. No, no, it can be spread through sex, because that's close contact, but any kind of close contact will spread this disease. So what can you possibly do then to avoid it? Or is the likelihood that very, very few of us will catch it? Well, the European Centre for Disease Control tonight said it's very unlikely it'll spread in the general population, basically, because it is quite hard to catch, first of all, you see. Secondly, it's only people with these symptoms that can spread it. So, of course, that means you can avoid people, so that they can stay home, whatever it might be, you know. So the chance of it becoming like a huge big thing like COVID is extremely unlikely as the current view. But they haven't been able to control it in the UK at the moment. It, it is spreading there. I know the numbers are small, but, you know, they've yeah. gone from a handful of cases to, you know, I think 50 or 60 cases at this point in quite a short period of time. They have, but it's inclined to be self-limiting. In previous outbreaks in Africa, for example, it'll last for a few months and then goes away because people isolate themselves when they have the symptoms, you see, and gradually it goes away, you know. Now we're seeing it at slight upsurge, but tiny numbers of cases, it's extremely rare. Like 56 people out of what is a 55 million, that's a very rare disease, basically. You know? But again, it's being monitored, like any infectious disease, it's being watched now. I guess for me, it's one for the scientists and doctors to keep an eye on, not the general public. Of course, we're all hyper about viruses, aren't we? You know, if this had happened before the pandemic, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be in the news, I bet you, for example. You know, it's simply because, oh, we're, we're, we're obsessed with this kind of thing. I did wonder that because I was thinking back to some of the you know, issues that we've covered in the programme in the last couple of months, and I was thinking of these sort of rare disease, I think of hepatitis, for example, in children, which, you know, um, we were speaking about in the programme last week, and I was wondering, 
Are there more of these diseases making the headlines because we are that much more aware of viruses and perhaps frightened of viruses than we were in the past? I, I think so. Yes, this massive attention. The big fear we'll have COVID again, say, or this will be like another type of viral disease that lockdown has to happen. That is in our minds, isn't it? Hence the media order. It's understandable. There's concern, isn't there? You know? But at the moment, as I say, it's a very rare disease. It isn't as lethal by any means as COVID. But scientific... It doesn't mutate, like... COVID or anything. Well, scientifically, it's a fascination, let's put it that way, because it's a DNA virus, first of all. They don't mutate anywhere like the RNA viruses, like COVID, for example. So the chance it's, it's, it's a mutant version is slim. It's, it's a possibility, but it's a very slim chance that this is a new form of monkeypox that's much more dangerous. That's unlikely at the moment, which you see from what we know. So you would say the message to the general public, don't be worried about it? Don't worry at all at the moment. Now, we'll keep an eye on it, remember. Let's see if it does come to Ireland. If it does come to Ireland, then we might ramp it up. There's, there's a special uh, group now has been uh, assembled by the HSE just to keep an eye on this, you see, to see what happens. But for the general public, leave it up to the doctors and the scientists for the moment. Let's see what happens in the, in the coming weeks.